Hey Garinger Wildcats, it's Ms. Cathell here, one of the school counselors, and today I'm going to be showing you how to register your, for your school classes for the 2022-2023 school year. The first thing you want to do in order to register for your classes is to come to the Garinger High School webpage. On the left hand side, you want to log in to your PowerSchool using this link for the PowerSchool Parent Student Portal. Once you click that link, you are going to be shown a screen similar to this, but right now your screen is just going to have um, your grades and attendance, grade history, history, attendance history, teacher comments, school bulletin, and then you're going to have this cool new button that you can click called class registration. Once you click the class registration button, you're going to be taken to this screen that says welcome to the Garinger High School class registration system for the 2022-2023 school year. This means you are going to be signing up for classes that you are going to be taking starting in the fall of 2022, so after summer break. First, what you want to do is read through some of these um, tidbits that we've already talked about, meaning academic courses, all students will be scheduled for English, Math, Science, Social Studies academic courses to meet your indi individual educational needs. You're also going to be choosing required elective courses. One required elective course is Health and PE. You must take it for a grad to meet a graduation requirement in the Charlotte Mecklenburg School System. Most of you have already taken this class in the ninth grade, but for some reason, if you did not take the class, we need to make sure we take it in person. Please talk to your counselor if you do not think you have um, taken this course yet in high school. Last, we're gonna have your choice of elective courses. Elective courses include um, Spanish, art class, um, any of our CTE courses that um, is principles of business, marketing, um, ROTC. This is gonna be in your elective course request options. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that we're signing up me. I'm Ms. Cathell, and I'm going to be a junior here at Garinger High School. So let's continue. As I scroll down, I'm going to see these course request options. Okay, as I look, I'm going to see English, Math, Science, Social Studies, again, this PE that we talked about, Career Technical Education, ROTC, Visual Arts, World Languages, Performing Arts, General Electives, and General Alternates. What well, these are the classes that I'm mainly going to focus on. So, right now I'm in the 10th grade and I'm going to be signing up for 11th grade classes. First, I'm going to start with English and I'm going to scroll over here to the pencil button and I'm gonna choose what English class I wanna take. When I click this button, I have many different English classes that um, are popped up, that populate. So, I have my course card out, and I already have noticed that I've already taken English 1, English 2. The next class that I need to take is English 3. But, I wanna challenge myself next school year, and I think I wanna take honors. So, I'm going to click Next until I find Honors English 3. So, I'm looking and I do not see Honors English 3 yet. So, I'm going to go to the next screen. Oh, and I have found Honors English 3. So, I'm going to click it. Now, some of you may be in different grades, so you may see different levels of classes that you can take. But please sure you read your class options. Next, I want to uh, sign up for a math class. So looking at my course schedule, I've already taken um, Math 1 and Math 2. The next class I want to take is Math 3. Now, math is not my favorite subject. Um, I have a difficult time. So I don't think I want to challenge myself this year in Honors Math 3. I think I just need to take regular Math 3. So I'm going to click Math 3. 
and click OK. Next up is Science. So I'm going to go over here again to my pencil button. Now I've already taken uh, Earth Environmental Science as well as Biology. So I love science and I can either take Physical Science or Chemistry. I think I want to challenge myself this year and take chemistry because I just really enjoy learning all about different elements. After I click chemistry, I'm going to click OK. Next up is social studies. I'm going to click my button. And this year we have some new options for students um, based on what grade you came in as a ninth grade. So I know that I need to take um, founding principles and civics because I've already I'm in American one right now so I'm going to click founding principles USA North Carolina civic literacy and click OK I've already taken health and PE and I did great in that class so I don't need to take health and PE anymore that's a ninth grade class next I'm going to choose my um, electives that I want to take so I'm looking over here and again we have career and technical education, JROTC, visual arts, world languages, performing arts, general electives. So what I need to do is I need to count how many classes I've already signed up for by scrolling up. So I take, I've signed up for one, two, three, four classes. That means I need to choose four more classes because I need to have a total of eight classes in order to click my submit button on this screen. So this year I really think that I want to start in, um, into ROTC because I think I want to go into the military after high school. So I really want to try. Now since I've never taken ROTC before, I really need to start with the first level of ROTC. So I'm going to choose ROTC 1. Now if I've taken ROTC my freshman and sophomore year, I can move up to the higher levels of ROTC. But since I haven't, I need to start at the beginning. So I'm going to click the ROTC Army. And then I see this have this ROTC 1 Leadership Lab. I'm not sure what that is, so I think I'm going to wait and ask my counselor to see if I need to take that. Then I'm going to click OK. So I have one elective chosen. Now I really enjoy the CTE classes that I take. I really enjoy principles of business. So I want to move up the principles of business. The next class I would take after principles of business would be financial planning. So I'm going to look for financial planning and I don't see it on this screen. I don't see it on this screen. And of course I missed it, it was on the first screen. So I'm going to click financial planning as my next elective class. So that means after I click OK, I have two elective classes. I still need two more. Now, I think I really want to go to a four-year college after high school, and I'm pretty sure my counselor told me I need to take two world languages. So I'm going to scroll down to world language, and I'm going to pick the world language that I would like to take. I think the world language I'd like to take is Spanish, and my counselor told me I needed two classes. So I'm going to click Spanish 1 and Spanish 2. And if I'm not right, then my, counsel, my school counselor can help me. So I'm going to count again. How many electives do I have? One, two, three, four. OK, good. I have four electives. Now, my counselor told me I needed to have some alternates. And you can tell you need to have some alternates because you have a red exclamation point. This means, wait, I need it. I can't turn this in until I have some alternates. So I'm going to click the pencil 
and I'm gonna choose some classes that I think I'd like to take as electives just in case I can't take Spanish this year or ROTC is full. So I'm gonna choose some classes that I think I'd like to take. Now I have so many listed classes, I don't know what I should take, so maybe I should get out my um, form and look. So I'm going to scroll. I haven't taken band, but my teacher said I could take band if I wanted to. It might look good on my resume. I don't know, but I know that's an option for me. Now, I don't want to take course, but I know it's a great option for me. Let's see, what else can I take? Ooh, what, I wonder what a CTE internship is. Maybe I should go ask Mr. Um, Summerauer what he thinks it might be. Or I could ask my counselor when we meet. I'm going to scroll through. And I think I want to take a class that's going to teach me um, how to use a computer well. Or maybe I could learn how to do some marketing in my life. So I'm going to choose the marketing class as one of my electives. And then I remember back in my freshman year of high school, I took a class that I also really enjoyed and I didn't know if I could take a next step because I may want to be a nurse after I grow up. I remember I took this Principles of Biomedical Science honors class. So I think I want to go to the next level, which is Principles um, of Human Body System, Project Lead the Way. So I'm going to go through and find that class. I can't exactly find it right now. Maybe I should ask my counselor about that. So I'm just going to move forward because I still need two more classes to choose as my alternate. Now if I can't get into my Spanish class, or at least the second level of Spanish, then I think I may want to take a culinary arts class. I would choose culinary arts. You know, I may want to get into the um, food business. now. What was on the first page again? It's okay, students, if you have to go back and forth. I did take Enter to Adobe my freshman year, and I may want to learn how to do video designs. So I'm going to choose Adobe Video Design. As you can see, it says I can select between two and four courses. I'm choosing three because I want to ask my counselor some questions. I click OK, okay. and now I have this check mark right here. So, I'm going to scroll, and students, you may see where it says OCS English, OCS Math. If you are not in the OCS program, you just keep scrolling. Additional request, at this point, we do not need to make any additional requests because right here I see the magic number, and the magic number is eight. I have eight credit, requires eight credit hours, and I'm requesting eight credits hours. Now, on my screen, I just see a little check mark, but in your screen, you are going to see a submit button. So what you want to do is you want to click submit, give yourself a round of applause, and then wait for your counselor to meet up with you in third period. I hope everyone has a great day.